what it is! How's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be doing Trivia 8! The fate of the trivia. That's what it's called. That's the word, that's the title. I don't care what Alex says. That's what we're going with. We're gonna do a whole new trivia round with all new rules, more players. It's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna lose? Who's gonna leave with the trivia belt? Only one way to find out. That is to sit back, relax, grab a snack, grab a beverage, and listen on in to the first ones to die. Hey everyone, welcome to the First Ones to Die podcast. My name is Jonathan. I am here with, as always, the wonderful Alex and Jerome. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. I'm hot. It is so freaking hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is I'm true. The sun be shining. Sunny yeah. D is off, flying off the shelves in... in like a lot of pa- I don't know where I was going with that joke. I'm too, yeah! I'm, too t- oh, I'm yeah. too chubby for this heat. I can't do it. Can't do At the very least, you can pick it up from the dollar me. store. You can get Sunny D from the dollar store for sure. That's true. Sunny D is like corn syrup, dyed corn syrup. <laughs> Why would you say Sunny D? Because Sunny D is the power of the too. sun. It's thick. <laughs> The worst is Tampico. The like even me. as a kid, I knew that that stuff was just like yeah. poison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do think that just like poison. it has this thickness to it. Yeah, the thickness Listen, to your juice should not exist. Where it is right. is sun kissed, and uh, and orangina. Those are the best orange drinks <laughs> there is. Orange drink, not orange. Juice. I've never heard or <laughs> orange Gina. What is that? Yeah, orange I don't Gina's, think I have either. It's a. It's mostly in Europe. Like only very few places in the states have it. But it's like a. It's kind of like a tangy. Like it's almost like lemonade, but orange instead. And so it's not. It's not lemonade. But you know how like lemonade is just like, like the tang of lemon mixed with like water and stuff, like watered down. Same thing with orangina. It's like orange. It's an orangish drink that is like uh, what? What a weird suggestion to make for something that's not even in the States that you bring up orangina. We have European fans. There's a person in Germany right now who listens to this podcast. Shout out to that person in Germany. Uh huh. Shout Shout out out to our European fans. There's also frians in England. There's also friends in England too. Remember? Goddamn right they are. Uh, Well, another. (laughs) Well, we could go on for juices for days, but uh, we're going to also shout out our two very special guests today for a very special episode. We have Ari and we have Jasmine. Hi. How are you guys doing? Unofficial Hello. fourth member of the podcast, Jasmine is back. Yes. <laughs> I'm only half of a half. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing well. I am really excited to be back and be in community with y'all. And this is going to be fun. So thank you for having me. And I'm excited to be a guest. It's always fun to hang out with you guys. So, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, Speaking of going back to the orange or the the juice uh, conversation. (laughs) I was just uh, looking at the orangina. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Speaking of going back to the orange. It's like just lemonade. So uh, is that just... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the juice of the astronauts. Wasn't that it? Yeah, because it was like a powder, and then you pour it in with like water, and then it makes. <gasps> Have you ever had the oh orange God. juice that was like frozen? <laughs> the frozen orange juice? Uh huh. You mm-hmm. unlocked memories. Right? right? <laughs> I do remember oh, Tang. Uh, yeah, I never drank it, but I know of yeah. it, and I remember being like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Hold gosh. on. Hold <laughs> on. Y'all ain't going. Orangina. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's oh, really I'm not drink. saying it doesn't it exist. I'm saying that's a weird thing to bring up. What are you saying? <laughs> is it out? I'm checking if it's at World Market. Maybe. I'm not sure. Probably, right? But it is it is delicious. I like it a lot. There's even a sparkling version. I'm not super into orange juice, so. Oh. It's not that orange juice, it's familiar. orange drink. drink. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing could be said about Sunny D. It's not orange juice, it's an orange drink. Okay, but I don't like Sunny D. Mm-mm. 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 You don't like the power of the sun? Nope, I think I'm good. <laughs> I will take the regular sun. In moderation, thank you. I don't want no more Now Capri Sun's still hit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Those still Capri Sun. Okay, Capri Sun. Yeah. Capri Sun Roaring Suns, Waters, yeah. though. Capri Sun Roaring Waters is the best version of Capri Sun they ever made. I I honestly mm. don't see. A what is wrong with I you? Whatever I have. Wait, what is wrong with you that you can't just drink a normal drink, Jero? Listen, I, love you, I am but a that's high. Cl- I, I was a high class. No. Child, I needed high class drinks. Yeah, yeah it's too. high class. Sunny no, it's Y'all are like pretending to smoke with the yes. straws. <laughs> with candy <laughs> cigarettes. I didn't get the candy <laughs> cigarettes. I didn't need the straws. <laughs> Especially when it's cold. Uh-huh. When it's cold out, you can see your breath. Just, Look, mom, I'm smoking. <laughs> He's in trouble for doing that at school. They're like, no, you can't do that. Because the length of the straw, it was like one of those old school, like, Cigarettes, that- like you were Corella de Vil on a stick. Right. That's how I always yeah. felt right. with her little cigarette extender. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me let me tell you how bored we were in South Carolina. That literally became a thing in my high school to smoke Smarties, and what they meant by that was you would crush up a pack of Smarties into like dust, and then somehow find a way to be able to blow it and make it look like cigarette smoke. <laughs> so like a pixie stick, basically. Okay. The kids who did that were the Couldn't. same kids that flipped their eyelids. Like <laughs> I used to do that. I used to do I that. I hate that. Also, for I could see that. Sticks, I would literally just eat the whole thing, Listen. like package included. Like I would chew on it like gum. I did know people who did that. Not <laughs> South, but others. South Carolina kids was were weird. weird. We <laughs> also had it, it became person. a new prank to backpack people, which meant that you would take all. You'd find someone who left their backpack unattended dump all their shit out, flip the backpack inside out, then put the stuff back in it and zip it back up and leave it for them. Oh, I've heard of that. That's <laughs> that In my high school, we just went around and kidney shocked people. We used to jam our fingers into people's kidneys. <laughs> we call That's it what kidney. we used to do. Yeah, we yeah. were told to stop it after somebody kind of pissed themselves. I wasn't involved in that incident. That wasn't my fault. Yeah, they did it too hard. They went too far. We were told no longer we're not allowed to do it anymore. Yeah, ours kept was doing more it, innocent crimes, all right? It's just an inconvenience to your day, not <laughs> causing bodily harm. Oh, mine was like bodily harm. No, well, I'm not I don't talk to anybody from high school if you're not surprised by that. <laughs> Moving on from high school trauma, let's get into this <laughs> new next round of trivia. <laughs> trivia eight. Oh, so excited. I love the trivia rounds. We've done this now seven times uh, and now going into eight times. It's been a fun ride. So let's do this. Yeah, we've had last time we had a guest it was uh, Lauren. She was our host. But this time our guests are going to be competing along with us to play some trivia as well. So it's going to be a very intense interesting oh i'm sorry i said it wrong hold on i'm sorry it's gonna be a very camp like scenario want to know why because it's gonna be intense <laughs> anyway so now <laughs> that's, the you know that that's, like the joke. that's like the joke that they tell in like friday the 13th part 18 before the counselor gets killed that's what that felt like like you were talking to us counselor or it was us, like, just be part of that. pull us some s'more <laughs> Oh, see both of y'all in the same. Spread. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's solidarity right there. That's relationship goals. <laughs> both of you guys are qualified. Anyway, so trivia like tri- trivia eight. Uh, we're going to be having a fun time. We are going to change up the rules a little bit. So if you have listened to any of our trivia rounds before, things are going to be slightly different. But for the most part, everything's going to be the same. Still going to be Trivia Plaza because, of course, we're not going to leave behind our unsponsored sponsored uh, <laughs> site that we use for all of our trivia games. Uh, <laughs> it's just because we can't find another one. But- <laughs> <laughs> And they haven't sent us a cease and desist letter yet. So right, right, that's true. Uh, but Jonathan uh, was our last trivia champ. He is the reason right. we uh, reviewed and uh, got a lot of you listeners. Actually, we actually got a lot of new listeners off. Uh, damn it! I just remembered what we're doing. Also, real quick, in following up of last week. We have decided in solidarity with the WGA and the SAG after strikes to not mention any more movies or anything in, uh, in, in a way to avoid accidental promotion and do any more reviews, both retro or new. Uh, so I am sorry, Alex, we're going to have to edit this one because <laughs> I said 
<laughs> said, it out. Insert movie it title took two a extra times. hours to edit that <laughs> other one because we were trying not to mention those movies. But all of us, all of us, like at least a minimum of three to four movies. <laughs> For that same reason, you're also not going to be doing the movie or TV show uh, trivia uh, jo- um, categories. Thank categories. you. <laughs> so, uh, so just know that Which those will not come up. Yes, much, mm-hmm. very much so. Unless you get like pictures about. of fountains. Hey, listen, I've dominated pictures of fountains. <laughs> that was a stupid round. I don't know what the hell happened. But anyway, I wish you get ten out of ten out of fountains. <laughs> and like I was saying, Jonathan, uh, what is the uh, current trivia champ? He has the trivia belt. Audience, one day you will make said belt and send it to us so that we can actually have the physical belt with us. But until then, uh, tr- Jonathan has the proverbial trivial belt. Uh, currently. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> but who knows who will have it? Literally, a guest might have it this time uh because the way we're going to do it is that normally we do uh three individual rounds and then do a final all free for all bonus round for bonus points and then have our tiebreakers this time we are going to do five individual trivia rounds and if there is a tie amongst those five then we will do a free for all tiebreaker amongst those who have the same amount of points uh we are still going to do our regular individual rounds though of 10 questions each and uh since there is three, uh, more than three of us, uh, we will be able to have uh, the other non-competing contestants pick the category, subcategory, and sub-subcategory <laughs> for whoever is competing at that time. So, all that being said, let's get into it. Jonathan, show us the Trivia Plaza <laughs> site. All right, here we go. I'll have to share my screen here. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yes, we can. All so, right. Jonathan is up first because he is the previous champ. So, Jonathan, no pressure, but you are the one leading the charge today. So, right. this is so, pressure. I still think as the champ, you should be able to pick the order. That so, is not the way we're doing what? it, Jonathan. So, this is the way that the that the, that the, that the cookie crumbles. Damn it. <laughs> so, does that mean that we get to pick which category he does? Yes, each one. So, actually, Jasmine, I will give you the honors of picking as the guest. Jonathan's category. Okay. Uh, Make it hard. <laughs> all right. We have categories like for the audience, uh, pop music, G- skipping over movies. So geography, science, computer literature, classical music, history, sports, languages, and miscellaneous. Let's do pop music. All right. Ari, as our second resident guest, you will get to pick the subcategory. We have all the decades. We have general... Eurovision, lyrics artists, lyrics general, song titles. Let's go 2000s, because that's very in right now. <laughs> Alex, you go pick the subcategory. So, sub subcategory, sorry. <laughs> and for Ari and Jasmine, these uh, right here are the average scores of people who uh, have previously completed uh, said these trivia categories so the lower the number that means the harder theoretically the harder the quiz is okay the less general knowledge so let's see which one's the most difficult (laughs) (laughs) you know i think we should Um, do that last time we gave all of us easy the easy sub sub categories (laughs) yes let's stop being nice to each other while there's two other people around this is a competition after. Wait, wait, all. slow it's... down, slow down, slow down. Okay, you want me to scroll I can't, back up? I can a little bit. But I can barely see things. I'm very I got pretty bad vision. Um two thousand and two album three doesn't look I like did, it has I a very good rating. I think that's the lowest one. Oh that's wait, wait, three, go, go down a little bit, go down a little bit. Birth and names two thousand. Alex, also you uh, might want to back names. up from the mic a little bit. You oh, sorry. Bert, you <laughs> sorry. Birth names, two thousands. What does that mean? Where is that? I think like people's it, real, you know, like it's in the right, column. right? Like because they're they're on, there's their stage the right. name and then there's their birth name. So what is the oh the right? Name oh. Of the oh. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Sorry, right. I was trying to look. I, I can't. I actually can't. think I I might. All right, Jonathan. Be all right at this. Watch I got you. Hold on. I feel like I'm surprised. I will say I'm surprised at the 
that it's so low because I feel like this is one of a, like an easier category. So you yeah. think that, but then Trivia Plaza will throw you some curveballs. Okay, let's <laughs> we'll see. All right, That's the real so name of Smitty now. Werber All right. Yangerbait. All right. <clears throat> How well do you know the birth she name of artists who were one. big in the 2000s? In this quiz, you'll see the artist's name, but with their lesser known birth names missing. Hit the play button. Which name is missing it's from their this middle artist's names? birth name? Oh Jason my gosh. Dot, 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 Mraz. Is it Jason Jonathan oh. Mraz, Jason Thomas Mraz, Jason Bruce Mraz, or Jason Randall Mraz? Okay, so what this sounds is like the whitest name? What is his middle name? I thought it was gonna be like okay, Lady Gaga. Her, her What's name her is real Stephanie name? German. Yeah. Wow, they did me dirty. Okay, so I told you. I told you, you Trivia Plaza will, will throw some curveballs at you. It'll lull you into a sense false sense of security. I'm thinking if I was naming Jason Mraz, he's probably what 40, 40 years ago. What would I name this man? <laughs> um, bless, bless you. <laughs> Bless you. I don't think it would be Jonathan. Jason Jonathan Mraz? No, too many J's. Jason Bruce Mraz? No, I think that's a little bit of an older name. I think I'm going to go with, with Thomas. I think Jason okay. Thomas Mraz sounds about right. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm, don't start with me. I think, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to say. It was <gasps> Thomas. I was yeah. gonna say that one does sound, wow. sound the, the most, most like a middle name. The most normal of the ways. Right. Say. John Mayer. Which name is missing from this artist's birth name? John Blank Mayer. Is it John Omari Mayer? <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Please don't be. I, Omari. Please don't I be love Omari. John Omari Mayer. John <laughs> Raymond Mayer. John Lewis Mayer. Or John Clayton Mayer. I think I know this one. I was, I was, I'm, I'm drawn to Clayton for whatever reason. Definitely not Omari, but who knows? Jerry Seinfeld's real name is Jerome. That's true. So, yeah. <laughs> I still can't get over that. that. That's his real name. It could be. I mean, it's true. I'm, I only have I'm one person in my Raymond. life who calls me Jerry for that reason. <laughs> I'm between it's Raymond and Clayton. <laughs> But I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with Clayton. It's Clayton. <gasps> what? Really? I thought it was Lewis. <laughs> wait a minute. This is a, wait. What? <laughs> That's. Oh, I know. Jonathan, you, you better get this right. You, you better, better get, get this right. one because this is a gimme. Uh, which Usher? Like which Usher? His name is Usher, but what is his last <laughs> name? Is it Usher Anthony? Usher Randall? Usher? Eh? And Usher Newton? Ne 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 <laughs> <laughs> The fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Don't forget that That's fourth. Right. I do know this one. This is Usher Raymond, baby. It, mm -hmm. It's Usher. Or <laughs> Usher, 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 Usher. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they really like the name Raymond up here. This is Craig right. David, but is his middle name Craig Raymond David? Craig Geethily or, or Geethily? Or however you pronounce that? Uh, David, Craig Jean David, or Craig John David, or Craig Ashley David. Okay. Um, Craig David is British, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm between Jean or John and Ashley. Um. I'm gonna have to go with Jean or John. John. Oh, it was Ashley. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're on a good roll, though. Pretty good. Um, that's right. Uh, his name is Kanye West, but his middle name might be Kanye Bruce West, Kanye Ajello West, uh, West, West, <laughs> Kanye Omari West. Or Kanye Nelisette West. I think that's how you pronounce that. That's where we're going Nelisette. with. That's what we're sticking with. I mean, it would be cool if his middle name was Nelisette. That's just a cool it? name. 
I'm not allowed to talk much during Jonathan's ones because he gets mad at me. He thinks I'm always trying to influence him. <laughs> I I might I, I think I'm gonna have to go with Omari. I mean, obviously, I right? That like that right. sounds the yeah. most normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I haven't known this before, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Omari. Who would? I feel like. <laughs> Not even the super fans, I think, know that much information. Right. It is Omari. Mm -hmm. His name is Justin Timberlake, but is his full name Justin Randall Timberlake, Justin Raymond Timberlake, Justin Thomas Timberlake, or Justin Clayton Timberlake? So this one I know, and not because I know Justin Timberlake's middle name, but because the other three we've used already. So I'm going to go... With Justin. Wait, Rand. what if there's repeats? Remember mm-hmm. last time we were wondering about that when we had like the the parliaments of like museum stuff. Oh, yeah. museums, I it was museum. right. What if there's repeats? Yeah. And also Ari and Jasmine, this is what Trivia Mob does. They will use previous answers of the ones that you've <laughs> they the, 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 bring the you into a false sense of security. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Actually, maybe I think I've heard his middle name before, but I'm just going to go with Randall. It's Randall! Mm -hmm. Her name is Kelly Clarkson, but is her middle name, or sorry, full name, Kelly Nelisette Clarkson, Kelly Rebecca Clarkson, (laughs) Kelly Ramona Clarkson, or Kelly Brianne Clarkson? (sighs) Brianne Seems like it would be right, but Brienne also seems like too new of a name mm. for Kelly Clarkson. So I'm between Brienne and Rebecca. I don't think it would be Kelly Nulisette Clarkson. It does not sound right. Um, I'm gonna they have really to go want, with Kelly. They really want Nulisette to like stick with you, though. They, they're like, my right. whose middle name is mm-hmm. Nulisette. <laughs> right and gender neutral too because they've used it for both men and women answers that's true mm-hmm. um i'm gonna have to go with kelly rebecca clarkson <gasps> it was brianne it was brianne, it was brianne. i her like it that's a pretty name is amy winehouse r.i.p but her full name is amy jade winehouse amy renee winehouse amy cody winehouse or amy Ramona Winehouse. I feel like I know this one. I think I know this answer. Okay. I'm between Jade and Ramona. Or ooh, Renee also. Oh! Um, <laughs> Renee just like, have I seen Amy Renee Winehouse? Amy? Amy Jade? <laughs> No, Amy. That's why it sounded out, Jonathan. Like Does it, does it sound like it sounds good on the on the birth certificate? Can you write it on the birth certificate? <laughs> Amy, Ren- Amy Renee sounds the best. Amy Renee sounds the best. But do you want to start the comment? Like sure. I don't know. Jade seems kind of weird for that, isn't it? Amy Jade Winehouse. Yeah. That sounds like a dog's I, name. Jade sounds like a dog's name, but I think it is somebody's what? dog's name. Oh, yeah, awesome. yeah, Jade is a great Jade name. Actually, I actually, that's what I think it is personally, but like, I have no idea. Ooh. I think I know somebody who has a dog named Jade, and I think that's why I'm like, that sounds like a dog dog's name. I'm gonna go with Renee. That's okay. <gasps> it's, it's Jade. I, oh, I knew. Jade. I knew it was Jade. Yeah, I've heard her say her full name, Amy Jade Winehouse. I knew that one. <laughs> Jade. You asked for the comment, and I made the snarky comment. Yeah, that's not my you, fault. You act like you normally are. you give away the answers. Normally you right. just say the random stuff. All right, last time you were talking about toast. No, last time I was eating toast, and that's all I wanted was just to eat my toast. <laughs> I like toast. No, second to last. This is, uh, next one. Her full name is Natasha, or rather, her name is Natasha Beddingfield, but her full name mm-hmm. is Natasha Lynn Beddingfield. Natasha Louise Bedingfield, Natasha Ann Bedingfield, or Natasha Jade Bedingfield. So we know it's not Jade. Most likely. Natasha Ann Bedingfield. <laughs> Natasha Lynn 
Sounds <laughs> Natasha Lynn and Anne yes. Also, Natasha Lynn life. also sounds country too. Natasha no, Lynn Benfield. And she's definitely not country. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <clears throat> Natasha Louise. Natasha. Natasha Louise. I think it throws me off when they have two of the same letter because I'm like, it must be one of those. I'll say Latasha Lynn. I mean, Natasha Lynn. Natasha Lynn. Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Lynn. That's a great name, though. I would dig it. Oh. Natasha Anne. I was between Anne and Louise. Nora Jones. I like the lady Louise. So her, like, so her stage name is Nora Jones Shankar, but her full name is Lynn Nora Jones Shankar, Jean Nora Jones Shankar, Geefly. <laughs> Yeah, or Gethley, Nora Jones, like Shankar. That. I don't know. Mm. Or Omari, Nora Jones. Okay, well, we know it's not Omari. Love Nora Come Jones. on. <laughs> you never know. Clearly, you, should you never know. This. know. Nora Jones is your girl. Yeah, she is. <laughs> and I do know that. What a weird artist to have as your girl. <laughs> My mom gave us each uh, songs when we were little, and Sunrise by Nora Jones was the song that she gave me. Oh, that's so Aww. sweet. So my sisters I and I each got a song that was like our song. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's actually way to turn things wholeheartedly. I, I, know. <laughs> I, I believe because she does, she, I think her, her dad is Indian. Um, so Githali, um, it, it, I believe it's an Indian name. So I'm going to say that. It's Geefully or Geefully. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But wow, you did amazing compared to everybody. Yeah, you did pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not not Mm -hmm. bad. It was those. It was those first three. Those first three questions. Got the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six. Got six points on the board with six. Jonathan, great start. Not a bad start. Who is next? All right. (laughs) Alex, you, uh, are you are you raising your hand or are you just waving? No, I'm now she is. Alex, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you volunteer. Uh, I've never volunteered see. for anything in my life. <laughs> Jonathan, pick the category. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do languages. Okay. Interesting. I'm curious about this. I wanted topic. languages. I know. I don't think we've done this yet. Uh, Why would we do this? I'll pick the subcategory. Let's do. Let's do idioms. Okay. Okay. That sounds fun. Yeah, I feel like that's that's more fair <laughs> than the really because idiom and missing language. body part. <laughs> these all of these have very high average scores. So um, Alex. J- uh-huh. you, <laughs> yeah, Jazz, you go ahead and get the sub sub category. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's do. What's the lowest one? Idioms and missing food for. Even the All playing right. field's a little. Select bit, the food like, items. Jonathan got that was hard. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Select the food items that are omitted from these common phrases. To make blank out of something, or to defeat easily is what it's saying. Is it to make pudding? To make bread, to make cheese, or to make minced meat. I've never heard this phrase before. Me neither. Really? <laughs> I I think no. I know this one. I've heard this. I think I do too. Times. I, really have I can one. guess I based on like, the, I don't know. Stop. I think it's either pudding or bread. Feels like it. Bread is hard to make. I know I shouldn't help you, but bread is hard to make. You gotta really put your back into that shit. I went to culinary school. <laughs> Bread's actually one of the first thing you make. It's to, to me, that's actually the simplest Maybe I'm form. Just it's weak. only a few ingredients. <laughs> it depends on the bread. It all depends on the bread. Some breads that's are true. very difficult to make. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping a sourdough um, starter alive. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Pudding? Mm. Final answer? I guess so. Because, like, I've never heard this before. It was, was mincemeat. Mince meat. Yeah. I yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Like, he made mincemeat out of that, like, opposite team or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never heard that once in my life. To know which side your blank is buttered, 
or to be aware of someone's interests is what it means. Is it to know which side your sandwich, to know which side your toast, to know which side your bread, or to know which side your cake is but? I'm going to say toast. Mainly because I want toast again. <laughs> what, you don't butter cakes? Maybe they mm-hmm. use the right. butter. You, don't you butter can. Cake. You can. You can butter anything. You can butter in cake. Yeah, you can. It was right. all butter bread. I would have went with toast, though, also. I thought toast was what it was. <laughs> uh, to take the blank out of somebody's mouth. Deprive basic means of living is what it actually is saying. Is it to take the pie, to take the chocolate, to take the jam, or to take the bread out of somebody's mouth? This one this I've one, heard. This is the bread. I've not mm. heard this one. Yeah. I have. Any food? Really? Related? Oh, that's one. Oh. oh. Th- that's the category. It's the food I've, category. I've heard take the food out of somebody's mouth. I've never heard a specific food. But uh, I've heard bread at least. All right. It was yeah. bread. Because bread is the only thing that was like a basic food staple. Mm-hmm. Like, historically. As busy as blank on a skillet. Uh, uh, har- all right, all right, right, we're we're gonna... <laughs> I need you to spell check your stuff. All right, what is uh, working? All right, that's not a word. That's not Somebody's a working word. really hard. They can't go back. They Clearly have to be not like, hard to know. They're too hard to be deprived. Anyway, is it as busy as loaf on a skillet? As busy as jam on a skillet, as busy as chocolate on a skillet, or as busy as popcorn on a skillet. Popcorn. Popcorn be curling crazy on a skillet. I want popcorn. popcorn. Chocolate on a skillet. Yeah. That's making sounds... me hungry. That... Mm-hmm. And it's popcorn. Get money for blank. Earn money very easily. Is it get money for jam, get money for salt, get money for bread, or get money for beans? I've uh, never heard uh, this one. Get money. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, get Isn't it get money for that bread? Get this bread. Bread. Yeah, I've heard yeah, get this get bread. bread. Right. <laughs> but I don't 50% know of that, the answers are bread. <laughs> right. <laughs> but do you get it bread for the bread? Or yeah, because get, get, for... like, get yeah. this bread is more like, like the money, money part is the bread. Like right. Because yeah. money You wouldn't also... say like get money for money. Right. I mean, maybe But it also depends on when this phrase was created because bread was more of a recent thing when referring to money because it used to be dough. This is get money for bread as in like this is what our means of survival. The bread just keeps I want to see bread. What is what is what comes after bread? Like crumbs? describe money well there's a phrase though you left no crumbs so maybe eventually yeah. it'll be like you left no crumbs i left no money yeah, behind that means that you ate right you That's ate right. and left no crumbs Did- uh is bread your final answer alex i feel like it's either that or for some reason salt but i don't think that's just uh, yeah i'm gonna say bread it was jam. Jam. i thought it was beans i thought it was beans i also too. thought it was beans oh, i thought beans it was gonna be like salt or something yeah. This blank is not worth the candle. The result is not worth the effort, is what they're saying. Is it the pie, the broth, the quiche, or the cake? What are these sayings? What, what are, are these phrases? These are very, very old <laughs> sayings. I never I have I've only heard so far. I have my guess I've already like though. Of these. I have my guess. The blank though. is not worth the candle. Like if anything, I I've heard the juice is not worth the squeeze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but not this. <laughs> but that's also like the juice and the squeeze are connected. This is like clearly something's being baked over a candle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe or, or heated. So, don't you start, Jonathan? Candle is hot. Don't you start? I can hear you. Don't you start? <laughs> I did not ask for a comment. I, I think I know it. I think I know it too, but I could be wrong. I'm going to say broth. Is that your final answer? Cause, uh, I, yeah, because I got no better answer. I it's also thought it was cake. broth. It's like a birthday cake. cake. You put a cake also, in a birthday cake. Oh, I also birthday think candle. it's pretty safe to like say that a lot of them have like alliteration in general. So like oh, the bread and butter one. Like, oh, yeah. 
That's oh, why a lot of those too good of a hint. <laughs> You're right. That is this a, one's that this is one's hard. hard. Yeah, it was. It, it, the... it, how is this a seven point whatever? This seems a lot harder than that. <laughs> this is old phrasing. Oh, yeah. This one, this one I know. I know this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's easy. Yeah, this one's easy. <laughs> the geriatrics are out here. <laughs> That's why the spelling's all wrong. <laughs> anyway, to hit the blank, drink alcohol in excess. Is it to hit the stew, to hit the sauce, to hit the salsa, or to hit the salad? This I'm going weekend. by stereotype, it's salsa. Y'all about to but hit uh, I think it's sauce. <laughs> Y'all about to hit the salsa this weekend? Hell yeah, brother. No, I'm going to hit yeah. the stew. I'm going after that stew this weekend. I'm about to hit this salad. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it was sauce. Sauce. Life is a bowl of blank. Or enjoyable, I should have said. Is it a, beans, B, chocolates, C, cherries, or D, biscuits. I forgot I wasn't doing the A, B, C, D thing. But you know what? We're, it's never too late <laughs> to jump on here. Life is a bowl Number of biscuits. Out. Cherries. No? You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> Gluten, goddamn right it is, See, too. I, I feel the like when these the idioms chair. were created, I feel like when these idioms were created, chocolate was not a thing that you could get. <laughs> <laughs> Is cherries the final answer? Yes. It's cherries. Hooray. Cherries are smacking. But life is a box of chocolates. That's right. Uh, <laughs> to polish the blank. In other words, to win favor through flattery. Is it to polish the cherry, to polish the bacon, to polish the donut, or polish the apple? The apple. This phrase because... makes sense. Yeah, it's polish the only one you bacon. can polish. Bacon. <laughs> Although I would love to see somebody try to polish bacon on their shirt. See how well that yeah. ends up. I mean, the donut kind of makes sense. It's got glaze. Yeah. Right, the glaze. You yeah. do not I polish thinking, a donut, though. I was thinking polishing off, which is like the like um to eat. I thought it was like the the synonym for that. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, I, I it took me a second to realize the other meaning. <laughs> Let's go with apple. It's apple! Yeah. To stew in one's own blank, or to uncomfortably be self-absorbed. Mm-hmm. Is it to stew in one's salad, to stew in one's juice, to stew in one's soap, uh, soap, <laughs> soup, <laughs> or to stew in one's onions, uh, one's own onions? Uh, if to stew in your own juice, I feel like that's... Gross. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> It's either juice or soup because you stew in soup. But I've heard the let them stew in their own juices, as in like yeah. let it sweat, let them sweat themselves basically. Mm. Stew in what owns onions gives um, a movie reference that I'm not about to say anymore. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Please don't. No. I don't want to do any more editing. Uh, I was about juice. to say something. Never mind. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah, why not? Who hey. knows? Which puts Alex at six points. He is tied <laughs> for the final round with Jonathan. Unless somebody beats uh, that. That's true. I so have to disappear have real quick for you guys, but continue onward. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Uh, you know what? We're can going. I, can I go next? You're going with Ari. I was going to go with the guest anyway. But... Okay. It's like, you know, when you're doing a presentation in school, like I'm starting to get nervous. Like I need I to get over with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pick the category. Let me, let me get, uh, let me get, uh, let's see. Let me get, let me get sports. Let me get All right. Sports. I have some colorful words for you. <laughs> he, he knows that literally that's my worst is sports. I know nothing about sports. Uh, Jasmine, you can pick the subcategory. Just again. we have go ahead and general. Category. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. which you pick because I know nothing about sports. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember right. that drum. I, th- I remember that. <laughs> 
this might be my last time on the podcast, so just yeah, <laughs> just so you guys know. Uh, I think. Don't worry, I we're just gonna we'll... play sports. <laughs> <laughs> I think the lowest one on here is sports and quantities two. I can't believe that's lower than dartboard scores. Because, <laughs> like, for real? You might be right, Jonathan. It might be the old people that are the only ones playing this. It, I really dartboard think so. Because, sport? like, I, I don't even know where I would begin with that. Right? Oh my god! How do facts. people know dartboard I don't know sports? literally any golf of these things. Golf facts is so much higher than sports and quantities. <laughs> one answer okay how do you know quantitative properties of sports should i just get a zero now like damn <laughs> no <laughs> okay let's do this then let's do it in snooker what, what the is the point is value of the brown ball <laughs> what is, is snooker it five, four three or two is what that is snooker like cricket? is that the one that's like cricket it's similar to cricket, right. yes. I know snooker, How do you but I know I, that. I've never watched it. <laughs> uh four. It's four. All right. <gasps> oh <my God>. oh. <laughs> just that's that's just what you have to do. The confidence and Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's mm -hmm. that's I think that's I won fountains. I didn't know that shit. I just guessed it. Let's keep going. Let's roll through this. Which is generally lacrosse. the heaviest of these sports balls? Is mm -hmm. it tennis, field hockey, lacrosse, or baseball? Oh, gosh. I've, it's definitely not tennis. Uh, hockey puck? Yeah. Well, it's field I'm trying hockey. To, oh, field hockey. Then I don't know. I've never seen field hockey. Lacrosse? I feel, I feel like... Oh, it's lacrosse. It's lacrosse. Is that your final answer? Yep. All right. It field was hockey. field hockey. Dang. My guess would have been baseball, honestly. Yeah, Same. baseballs are heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the minimum Isn't field hockey of technically a puck? Is, is that kind of as a ball? No, it's In a field ball. Hockey, it's field a ball. hockey, it's a ball. It's See, I don't know field hockey. Field, hockey. So they can't a scoot a, hot, a puck around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're... What, yeah. Hold on. What is the minimum number of points required in order to win a game of table tennis? Is it 12, 14, 11, or 10? 12. Do, does anybody abide by these rules? I don't know. Ever? I've never played no. table tennis. Not normally, no. <laughs> I've only played... It's always who throws their... Uh, 11. Thing 11. I was close. A association football match consists of two halves. What is the official duration of one half? Is it 60 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, or 30 minutes? See, people are going to hate me because I don't know anything about football either. I mean, this is really. soccer. They're talking about soccer here. <laughs> oh, I thought they were talking about American football. Okay. I don't well, think so because in, in American football, you play quarters. Yeah. That's right. You're oh, right. Okay. But well, always, thank like, you for the hint. <laughs> But they're always, even those quarters are still breaking up into the halves. There's like the first half. Does that hint but actually no help? But you're, no, no, but you're right. You're right. Soccer is broken into two halves consistently. That is okay. the average. Um, and I, I do think none of these would be the. It's either 60 or 45 because whenever my grandpa watches soccer, it's usually a very, very long time. Mm. Soccer games aren't that long. Mm -hmm. I've never watched it. Or at least I don't think. <sighs> 45. All right. It was 45. Yes. Yes. How many players make up a regular curling team? Is it four, three, Jeez. five, or six? I do know. I, I know that. curling. Usually, usually there's two people that are doing the really fast and then one person hits it or throws it the thing um but i'm not sure which would be three but wait but i'm not sure if, oh sorry if there's more people like alternates like other teams have um i'm gonna go with three here we go it was four i'll have to look into all this stuff an archery target usually consists of how many colors? Is it five, six, 
three or four? Is it, I'm wondering, is it asking like how many colors total or how many like stripes of colors? How many colors total? Colors total. Okay, there's white, red, blue. I'm not sure if like, usually it's like black outer ring. I'm not sure if that counts, which would be four. Um, so I would think it's either three or four. I'm not sure if they've got like green. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, four. We're going to count the black outer ring. All right. I'm going to be sad if it's three. Five. 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 I, I, I just, like, I don't know. I get, I thought yellow. Oh, is there water. yellow? Think yellow. There, there's okay. white, yellow, red, green, and black. I think uh, I know this one. And I know that because I have an archery thing up here. Uh, oh, green. I forgot about green. Oh, first. Okay. I know this one, I think. A standard dartboard is divided in how many radial and number sections? Is it 22, 18, 24, or 20? I think it's 24. All right. It's either 24. It's 20. Hmm. Hmm. The Daytona 500 consists of how many laps? 100, 250, 500, or 200? I feel like this is a trick question. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure this is racing. I, and I think, racing. I think yeah, it's 500. It's <laughs> I feel like it's 500. Isn't it's that why they fishing. call it that or no? Right. I, that's, that's what I would I, think. I don't watch racing either. Watch, it's 250. That'd be so funny. Yeah. It's, it's 200? Then why is it called the 500? Because I, I forget why. It, it, I think it has something to do with the number of... No, it's not the number of cars. What is... Maybe that's uh, how many miles they go? I think that is... Oh. I, or I think it's how many Or kilometers? Miles, I think it is how many miles, like, after they do their 200 laps, how many miles it is. So did you know? No, I wasn't sure. I thought I was going to say 500. Okay. I, I thought it was the amount of. Oh, I okay. The total of hey, two the points. Daytona 500 is 500 is 500 mile long. That's what I thought. Uh, I was like, it's, okay. I was like yeah. either the amount of laps or how long the track is once they go around 200 times. Okay. Yeah. In snooker, what is the point value of the blue ball? Is it three, six, five, snooker or four? Again. It's not four. Um. What well, the hell? Is I guess snooker? what we thinking. That's what I said. I did, the last time I asked you what the point value of the brown ball in snooker was. And I'm like, I've never heard of a snooker. It's like cricket. I don't even know what cricket is. No, it's not like cricket. It's snooker. It's, not like it's, it's, it's oh, okay. It's, oh, it's so cool, I guess basically. here's what I have oh, to it's think. Cool? It's yeah. cool. It's cool. I thought it's a good game. Oh. I thought it was something different. My bad. Okay, so is blue better than brown? Well, it's, is what it's, I'm thinking it's not, here. It's, it's not pool. It's not like pool, but it's... I said billiard. It's table. a billiard game. Oh, right, right. I don't know this. What's, like, because it's... Like, this is the only hint I'll give you. It's probably the number that's on the billiard ball. Okay. It? Do you think no, because it's different. The billiard ball? It's different? So uh, don't confuse her one. Two, it's Never not mind. the actual billiard balls. They have their own balls. It's a, oh. just called a billiard game. I remember because the brown on one is four. Oh, okay. The brown one is four. Why would you remember the brown one is four? Because it already asked me this question. I got it right purely by chance. Um, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. No, you're okay. I almost read that you straight. I'm sorry. Well, it wouldn't have helped because I don't remember the numbers on the balls. <laughs> um... I'm feeling like a number. It's. I feel like it's odd. I think it's three or five. Three. Okay, here we go. It's five. Oh, so close. So blue no. is better than brown. <laughs> and last question. At what height can you find the horizontal crossbar of a goal structure in American football? Is it 15 feet, 10 feet, 8 feet, or 12 feet? As a football fan, I do not know this. <laughs> I know up. it's tall. It's taller than people by a lot, like a considerable amount. So it's not eight. Um, 
It's either 12 or 15. I'm feeling 12 or 15. Uh, Americans do. We both we like the number 12 and the number 15 for measurements. <laughs> Good and interesting observation. Yeah. Well, we do. 12 inches is in a foot. Because, you know, and then 15, we like increments of five a lot for measuring things. Um, 12 feet. No, 15. 15. Final answer. All right. 15. It was I knew it was. So I, knew you it was I didn't know that. About that I didn't, uh, increments of five thing. I'm gonna go cry about getting an F minus. Distance, but I remembered that people <laughs> have jumped onto the goal, the, uh, like onto the field goal to like do celebration dances, and I'm like, so it has to be ten feet at the very least. I'm, always, I'm gonna cry looked, about it. Always my looks score. taller. It's okay. You did mm -hmm. this. It does look taller. You did this to I've me. I've seen the way people have like I'm not climbed up that this, that this pole. Was your idea. Yeah. I wanted to win. I already told you that I wasn't very good at this. <laughs> I will remember this. Aria, two All right. on the board. Yes, thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Bastard man. Okay, anyway, it's, uh, you get to go last. It's Jasmine's turn. I've decided. Okay. All right, Jasmine. Go ahead, you uh, not pick the category yet. Or okay. Alex. Okay. Oh, okay. Alex. Um let's do let's do pop music again. All right. Oh, we can pick categories can again. Jonathan, pick a yeah, category. Oh. Um okay. Uh... I would like to pick a category for Jerome. <laughs> okay. Don't let her do that. We we will allow. Well, it. she's doing it. Yeah, she's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I kind of want to go with Eurovision, but I don't think I will. Uh, let's go with lyrics general. See, why are y'all being nice to Jasmine? I'll, I'll sub, sub Eurovision would have been wild. There's, there's no way I would have gotten that. Uh, let there's me, some low score ones. Let's let's get uh let's get uh let's get lyrics and musical instruments. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. All right, okay. What does that even mean? I know it's always interesting to Do find out know? what the category actually means. Do you know which musical instruments are mentioned in the lyrics of classic songs oh. like Africa, Dancing Queen, and Mambo Number no. 5? Oh, man. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Dancing Queen, young Dancing oh, 17. I actually do have to do an ABBA show for the Laser Dome. Do you think I'm sexy, Rod Stewart? Which of these musical instruments is mentioned in the lyrics of this song, Do You Think I'm Sexy by Rod Stewart? Is it saxophone? The drum, the guitar, or the tambourine. Hmm. I don't. I can't imagine that song in my head. I don't know. I, I weirdly it. know this one because I actually just heard it today. I feel like guitar is too obvious. Tambourine is kind of out there, but maybe I don't know. My heart says tambourine. I thought I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> Let's hear the tambourine. Drum. drum. It is the drum. Sing, Jerome, do you know that song? Oh, man. Like, do you know that song? I know this one. Not the answer, but I know this song. What instrument Walking is in, in Memphis? The song Walking in Memphis by Mark Kahn. Walking in Memphis, right. Is it the guitar, the tambourine, the drums, or the piano? He literally just sang the, the name. <laughs> I think I'm going to say guitar. It's the name. Because it's Memphis. That would make sense. That would make sense. That's a fair assumption. God, it was a piano. Why are you walking around, you walk oh around in God. Memphis with a piano? I have no idea. Um, he has a guitar. He has the guitar swung over his side. I'll get. Can I, I'll give you a hint. Goes oh, bum 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 bum. Which of these musical instruments is mentioned? That's Africa. 
No. Did you? Yes. It sounded like a doorbell. <laughs> this is, this no, is no, Coco Mall um, by the Beach Boys. This, is it the I know steel this drum, song. the saxophone, the piano, or the banjo? Okay, I was I was mixing those up because I had a group of nanny kids who were like it was two little boys who were obsessed with Africa by Toto and Kokomo by the Beach Boys. And so we'd listen to only those two songs. Ooh, so my apologies. On repeat. <laughs> On repeat. So yeah. Anyway. Okay, my guess. I feel is like I know the. Is that your final answer? Yes, because I have no idea. And <laughs> steel drum. I, I figured it was no, steel drum because it's like island. Yeah. 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 Don't dream it's <laughs> over. What is this song? I do not know. That I don't know. <laughs> I do not know this song. <laughs> by crowded house. By crowded okay, let's house. do trumpet. Is it the drum, guitar, trumpet, or fiddle? He's going trumpet, folks. I feel like that's a sad song, isn't it? Don't dream so. Yeah, I have no idea. It sounds like a sad song. Right. It sounds like a breakup song. It was the drum. <laughs> Good right weird instrument. Robert Which Cray? Who is that? <laughs> right next okay, door. I'm going to go guitar Cray. again. Let's see. There's a tambourine, piano, drums, or guitar. We're going guitar. Like one of these I feel like it's right. guitar. Yes! 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 It's on the board. Oh, uh, you, you have to know this one. What? I actually don't. Is it tambourine? Food? You gotta let it finish. Is it guitar? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I recognize the song. But don't you already lost your answer. I, I can hear it. Oh, is is that your final answer? Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. I know this song. I just yeah, young and sweet. Okay. Feel cool. the beat of oh, the I don't tambourine. Know. Oh awesome. my god, uh, Domino. Who, what instrument is mentioned in the song Domino by Jesse J? Is it guitar, piano, banjo, or bass drum? I haven't heard this song in a while. Domino. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Does anyone, what's that song? How does it go? It's, uh, my, my world into the starlight. Don't dream the best I've ever known. Know. Knock me down like I'm a domino. You know that song? Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, it was yeah, cool yeah. when we were in like high school. Very much so. Yeah, yeah. It, was like a, it was a big summer song. <laughs> it was all over the radio. Um, I do not remember the lyrics at all. Let's do bass drum. That's a good guess, actually. You are yeah. correct. Oh, yes. I thought it was guitar. Just go I with what you can be It's a pop song, Jonathan. You got to mention the bass drum. Yeah. <laughs> Foolish Games. Foolish Games by Jewel. Which instrument is mentioned? Is it the trumpet, the grand piano, the violins, or the guitar? Just knowing who Jewel is, I have a guess at what this answer is. I, yes, my mom listened to a lot of Jewel growing I up. Know them. You okay. don't know who Jewel is? I'm going to guess Oops. guitar. I feel like Grand Piano is a weird name to put in a song. Watch it be but it also feels so oddly specific when the other ones have just been piano. <laughs> How has she, how does she put that in there? Like, here I am I playing my grand piano. Like, that doesn't sound weird. <laughs> how does You know what, fine. I'm going to go with grand piano. No, wait, no, I wasn't telling you no. to pick it. I was just saying. No, let's go with guitar. Let's go guitar. Because if it's not <laughs> that, I'm going to be, like, especially pissed. That's true. <laughs> All right. Guitar. Hey, a lot of people love talking like about guitar. the guitars. She's a country singer. Or oh, well, no, Jewel is country. like all about her guitar, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Tiny Dancer by Elton John includes which instrument in the lyrics? Is it piano, guitar, violins, or fiddle? I'm going to say think of piano. Tiny Dancer lyrics right now. I think I know. I can't think of the lyrics at all. I can't. I can I think of like but the it makes lyrics, but not Elton the melody. John. Pull me closer. Pull me closer. It makes it makes the most sense with Elton John piano. I think so too. Kind of like with Jewel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's piano. Hey. Come back. Dang. Now, Jasmine, hey. Wow. Before we go, if Jasmine gets this last one, she will qualify to be part of the. Uh, the I wonder how that feels. The pressure. 
Okay, the pressure. <laughs> I don't know how that feels, Dave. You trusted Jerome. That was your own No, fault. I didn't. No, I didn't. He picked the category I know, I was of sports. Most of it. <laughs> he picked my my least favorite category. <laughs> You trusted him to pick your category. That was the whole no, thing. No, I didn't. I need to tell you the story about the time I lied and told nobody to take the money during um, that. That I will not, not like, forget that. that. And you that, that, nobody will ever me. forgive you. <laughs> we were there in solidarity. But come on, right. you can do this, Jasmine. Sorry, Jasmine. Win for us, little guys. Play this, play this like the a instrument skill. mentioned in the lyrics of "Thank God I'm a Country Boy" are what? Like a fiddle, piano, <laughs> drums, or fiddle. Okay, I'm gonna go with fiddle. Because it's country, it's old school. I'm gonna be so just. It's I'm gonna be shocked if it's not fiddle. That's what I would have said. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Come on, no. they've had here. fiddle in nearly every uh, single one of these. Uh, Stop this is playing. Uh, Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! So Jasmine has advanced to the final round. Yay! Oh, you got all, all six questions in a row. Like all the Yes. Yeah. yeah. I saw real. She came bit. back. Made sure. <laughs> the comeback. It was looking. Are you ready, girl? I, I, Agile I, in the first half, not going to lie. You got you it, but you did it. You no, did it. I believed in you. You ready? Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to use the bathroom real quick, okay? I got to okay. pee. Okay. I think what we know what needs to be done, though, just to make it like go quite quicker, is just get to roam out. Yes. Have the couple out. That whole square, remove it from the game. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Make it like easier. Let's see. All right. Do you think he'd be worse at geography or science? I don't know. Literally, uh, you can't get maybe. me on anything because they they've seen oh. the power of my rules of deduction. They've mm. seen what happens when it's, you try to challenge. Well, it it is. Is. Bet. well Bet. my my favorite is science, so we'll go science. Okay. What I wish he would have picked. I'm not gonna give you the easy uh, category. I'll, I'll, I'll pick the subcategory. Um, Make him do math. <laughs> Learn the no, don't do math. I hate math. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I don't, don't want to look at like, it. Uh, let's Ooh, go astronomy. Either astronomy or biology. I love okay. both. Yep, love it. Let's do. We love animals on the podcast, so let's do animals. 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 I feel like that's too easy. I know. Get I was him, like, Alex. "Is this gonna get be him. too easy?" We gotta get. We Alex. gotta find a good. Get him, one. Alex. Let's down to Alex. 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 Find me the lowest one you can. Okay. Let's uh, do this. It looks like I'm types of four. mammals. <laughs> types of mammals seven that has a four. <laughs> two. Types of mammals four <laughs> was six point. Wait. Yeah, six point. One zero? Oh no, no, no there's, there's one that's lower. Four. Okay. Anything a little lower? Um, Let's I see. think that's the lower Yeah. We're coming for you. Oh wait, animal Three. gestation period. Gestation. <laughs> Let's talk about animal pregnancy. Let's, Let's go. Do- <laughs> Let's do gestation periods. Because <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, it's gross. it's. It's the the length of pregnancy in animals. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. We've talked a lot about pregnancy it. on this show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Jerome, do you know the average pregnancy period of these animals? <laughs> do we want someone else to narrate this time? It's Jonathan. He normally does. It's okay. usually Jonathan, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, Jerome, what is the average gestation period of this animal species? Why are you looking at me like you know? <laughs> <laughs> Is it 114 to 121 days, 174 to 181 days, 204 to 211 days, or 144 to 151 days? I like how these are so close together that it's like... <laughs> it's impossible to just guess it out. Let me tell you something. All right. So here's the thing. I'm thinking about days and years, right? There's 30 days in a month. That means. I'm pretty sure I know this. And then if you times 30 times nine, that's. Hold on. Oh, I got to pull up my fingers. 270 I will days. Be so 270 so days. This. 270 days is the average gestation period for a human being. So what I'm thinking is for a sheep. Right, sheep come out a lot faster because you need to get your lamb on time when you take it to the restaurant at the Olive Garden. So we're going to say that 
like we're gonna go in the middle, we're gonna hit in the middle, and we're gonna go for that 174 to 181 days. That's the final answer. That's the guess. That's what we're doing. You Wait, know, human point? pregnancy is actually an average of 40 weeks, not nine months directly. You know what? Listen, it so. doesn't matter. This is we're talking about sheep now. Sheep pregnancy is on the brain. I'm just saying, you brought in human pregnancy and trying to do some days. weird ass math. So, but go on. All right. Let's answer. go. Let's that see. That is true, though. You are not incorrect. Mm-hmm. I was going to go 144. Not... That was incorrect. Yeah, yeah, you were. <laughs> That's why you picked the other one. That's my bad. All right. Uh, pigeons. Pigeon. Ahead, is it 31 to 39 days, 41 to 49 days, 11 to 19, or 21 to 29 days? They ain't pregnant that long. I think I know this one, too. You know, they're not pregnant that long. Uh, you know, it's not about pregnancy. pregnancy for when they're forming in the egg, or is it in the egg? I in the ovum? It's probably like the they're forming in the egg. Every, yeah. So how long a are they baby the pigeon? Egg? They're so cute. They're so cute and ugly. I love them. Anyway, Jerome, what's your answer? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jerome. What's your answer? Come on, Jerome. How long does a, a pigeon in <laughs> gestate in its egg for? I'll tell you how long. It gestates for an amount of days in a certain amount of time. <laughs> yep. I think I know this. <laughs> that amount is, you know what? I'm just going to go uh, with like what I think. Because they, they don't actually stay pregnant for very long. I'm going to go with the, well, with the 11 pregnant. to 19 days. They're Let's never pregnant. 19. 11 and 19. Here we go. Let me get that 11 and 19. There we go. <gasps> wow, that is no, perfect. A little bit less than a chicken. Yeah. Chickens ah. are about 24 days. Mm. All right. Domestic rabbit. I miss about Midwest chicken 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 chickens. 8 to 15. You know 38 to 45. 28 to 35. Or 18 to 25. Listen, they be multiplying fast. There's too many rabbits out in the world. They're currently taking over all of Seattle Center. You can't go anywhere without rabbits being everywhere. During the pandemic, this was their Dang, this is really? their time. There's so mm, many rabbits so in many. Seattle Center right now on the city. Oh I believe that. But this is the domestic rabbit. Uh, yeah. Not well, those are gangster rabbits. Same difference. <laughs> they out here on these streets working hard. <laughs> well, that's the alive. thing. Is working harder. On these pretty greets out here. All right, they're working hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, you know what? Just to keep, just so they can keep the factory pumping, 18 to 25 days. <laughs> All right. Ah, Ooh. damn it! Too quick on the draw. <laughs> this one I actually know the answer to, and I'm always horrified by it. Oh my gosh! Why are they pregnant for so long? Dang. African elephant. It takes a long time to make an elephant. (laughs) Sure, but a big thing should make a big thing. (laughs) Is the African elephant, uh, what's the average gestation period? Uh, 645 days, 545 days, 745 days, or 845 days? A year is 365. Yeah, that's a lot of days. Let me get the 745 days. I feel like it just takes a good, a long time, Dang. but not, but not 845 days. That seems a bit extreme. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know any of these 745 answers. just sounds right. It does sound right. Just too long. 845 is right. too much. It's too long. Like Goldilocks. All right, that one's too tall. 645 is too, 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 uh, too soft. But or 545 is too soft. But 745 just right. All right. Damn it! It's just about two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Horrifying. Wow. Okay, I don't know this one. All right, the seal. The average gestation gestation period: two hundred and thirty days, one hundred and thirty days, four hundred and thirty days, or three hundred and thirty days. All right. So dig this, right? I'm thinking in my mind that the man seal uh, has a lot of going on with the face. And he often needs his Neutrogena and other facial creams to help keep all this looking tight and right. The man seal. You know what I mean? oh and so God. it's going to have to require him to have to do that routine for a certain amount of days minimum every year. That number is exactly 330 days. Final answer. That's what I'm going to say. Huh? Okay. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's right. The power of the drum. <laughs> Uh, 
all I can say. <laughs> they only get spring for like, you know, like spring and summer for like two months. So they've got to have their babies and be done with it in that time. Uh, so they're, they're a domestic pig. Domestic pig. Is it 112 to 115? 83 to 85? 142 to 145? That's very specific. Or 63 to 65? These are very specific time periods. I want a pig. I just want chickens. Uh, I want a chicken mini. Domestic pig. Hmm. I am very hungry right now. Some bacon could be good to have. In front of me. I'm oh, sorry. I know you're In all about the vegan me. lifestyle, and you know pigs are, are great animals. Yes, they, they are. are. End of delicious. story. Nope. And- <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say uh, that you know bacon only keeps oh, but for so long sure. if it's captured in bulk, and so uh, that amount of days is definitely uh, don't and don't quote me on this. I am always right. It is exactly eighty three to eighty five days. That's what I'm going. For. <laughs> I love the confidence. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. No, it was one twelve to one fifteen. <laughs> A gorilla? I have no idea. The gorilla. Uh, The gorilla. Who doesn't know how much? Is it 255 to 260? 215 to 220? 355 to 360? Think back on your nature documentaries. Well, if you go back to the movie Tarzan, right? Kerjack was the leader of the gorilla clan. Him and uh, I forget the the mom gorilla, but she, like, them two were supposed to have a baby together, but that didn't work out. And so then she, the baby she died. decided to kidnap Tarzan after he was orphaned babe, after a jaguar came babe, and killed his family. Babe, no movies. They didn't kidnap him. They saved him. <laughs> they well, kidnapping him would have been no taking him from his parents. We're cutting all this. If anyone right. kidnapped him, it was the leopard. They kidnapped exactly. him from the Lord who had a plan for him before the gorillas showed up. Yeah, the plan was that the gorillas show up. God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... And then when she provides Tarzan to the rest of the gorilla clan, of course, they are they uh, all are just pretend like they accept him. But Kerjack's the one who knows because he knows for a fact, it, not only is this baby not mine, but also if it was ours and just had a you weird not bird the deficiency, all right, she would have to be Murray. pregnant for much longer. And that <laughs> amount of time she would have had to be pregnant for was 255 days to 260 days. Oh, are, we gonna, <laughs> are you guys gonna have to uh, cut all of that? No, no, the, just the name. The I said the title. You said his name, which is the title a lot. That doesn't count. <laughs> I think I, I like the idea of bleeping it out and making people guess what movie we're talking about. That way, you can figure out pretty easily. That's fun. Yeah, but yeah, that's true. I will bleep out every time I say the word, the name blanky blank blank for death. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, so you will. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, Jerome, you're still in the running. We got three questions left, and, mm. and you have three points. So still in no, the No, not running. if I get the, the, these next. All right, no, I do have to get these extra. You're right. Okay. Mm, you here we go. You get everything right. Lion. <laughs> the lion. Is it 198 days, 108 days, 138 days, or 168 days? All right, check it out. Are you looking it up, Alex? No, I'm making a TikTok. Oh. <laughs> I get bored just sitting here. I need to do stuff. <laughs> KJ, you, you got this. If you go on over to any nature documentary about the lions, right? What Uh-oh. you'll find out is that the lions often uh, are a very interesting species, all right? The women run everything as the way it should be. Hashtag Barbie. <laughs> yes, that's, I did that on purpose, Alex. <laughs> Beep. I have more editing work to do. Just pissing me off now. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> on top of that, they uh, they also have the other hard job of being able to carry all these li- early little baby lions and lionesses. And that amount of time is pause for suspense. 138 days. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh. Well, I'm out the running, but that's all right. 
All right, I'm not even going to try for the rest of these. I don't know. Go ahead and say the thing. No, <laughs> come on. You got to keep trying. Come on. You, how how long is a dog mean? pregnant for? The domestic dog. Are they pregnant for 118 to 125 days, 58 to 65, okay. 78 to 85, or 98 to 105 days? We set each other up for failure. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's go with the 98 to 105 days. And the reasoning? Oh, the reasoning is, well, listen, dogs are be out here having sex. And the thing about that is, when All they right, do let's this, this right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you hey, we you should know this. Human. You should know this. <laughs> All right. And what last we... question. The human. What is the average gestation period? For the human, 219 to 240 oh, is... days, 259 to 280 days, 239 to 260 days, or 279 to 300 days. So the thing is, humans be having sex. And the thing <laughs> 259 to 280 days. <laughs> I, this one, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because it's, really it's 259 to 280 days. Okay. Is that your final answer? Least, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Man, I wasn't sure if they were gonna lowball it. Forty or... weeks times seven. Well, yeah, but it said two eighty, so I wasn't sure if they were gonna go two seventy nine to three hundred, or hmm. they're gonna go on the high end. And I'm on the board with four points, but I do not qualify. Hey, I don't either. Like real partners, we set each other up for failure. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means that just means that you guys will be able to pick the category that me. Ooh. Alex and Jasmine face off in in the tiebreaker round. So, so the way we do uh, our tiebreaker is that uh, the last three contestants prepared are going to uh, compete in a bonus round in the miscellaneous category. We always do it in the miscellaneous category, but the subcategory and sub subcategory is going to be well, actually, subcategory is going to be general, and so uh, the sub subcategory is what we're actually going to pick, and. Uh, how uh, our three contestants are going to do it is that they're going to have, find a piece of paper or something, write their answers on that piece of paper, uh, the answers being in the form of A, B, C, or D, and present them to the camera when uh, it's time to ask for an answer. In this case, so that way, you know, nobody's influencing each other's answers, and everybody gets a fair shot at getting these bonus points. Now, are we doing if, the whole round or sudden death? The whole round. Okay. Uh, but if at the end of that, there's still a tie, sudden death. <laughs> okay. Actually, funny enough, Jonathan, this is actually the shortest trivia around, like trivia episode we've had yet so far. It's only an hour and a half. <laughs> we are efficient. Right. Well, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. The game is still on. How big do I have to write it? Just big enough uh, that like we can see it on your the, camera. On the can camera. See it. Oh dang! Okay, I need to go get another notebook. Or you could use like your phone and um, just like, make it really uh, large. Like notes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Look, I drew a flower. That's the wrong side. Ooh, that's, I drew a flower. You guys, are, you guys are super small on my screen. <laughs> okay, oh. Hey. Flower. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you. I like flowers. Speaking of, I'm feeling tropical today. Um. <laughs> oh, it's hot. I don't like this day. Oh, gosh. It refuses to stay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Do you want to come say hi? Okay. Al says hi from the doorway. He has no hi. Hi. Hey. They all said hi. He has no shirt on, he said. Which is true. I can see that. But that's gotta keep it PG thirteen. Yeah, we gotta keep it PG thirteen on the thing. I'm playing trivia. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay.
Okay, I'm ready whenever y'all are. Same. Alex, are you ready? Yeah, I'm good. Like I said, I'm okay. just making TikToks. Jonathan, <laughs> go ahead and click in the general category, if you would, please. Okay, come on, Drum. How are we going to get him? Let's see. What the heck is an eponym? I'm, I'm liking definitions and effects three. That's pretty low on the board. Let's see. Well, I guess we can make a hard. Fic- famous name. Famous fictional doctors. Oh, famous festivals and locations. <laughs> famous trios. Pictures of warning signs. We did pictures of warning signs. I think we did that one. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. And that's how I won. Because I literally have a warning religions. sign in my bathroom. Funsies. TV set abbreviations. What Laundry care it? symbols. Wait, fictional. We did that actually. Breeds. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. Oh, but that might. We be did the laundry movies. symbols once. Yeah, we did the laundry symbols once. Um, let's see. Pictures of toys too. I don't know. That might. That might give. Or yeah, that's kind of a high rank one. Yeah. Hmm. Warning signs? Epitaphs of famous people. Um, That's a pretty hard one. Pictures of architecture? Parts three. <laughs> Will you go up? National anthem facts? How many facts can you have? <laughs> Let's see. I like descriptions and old things. <laughs> Which one? Or descriptions of new things? I mean, no, no, no. It's 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 pretty high up there, but I just love the title. Oh, hmm. I know why. Why is old and new capitalized? All caps. I'm trying to because it's got a dramatic for the player. National <laughs> anthem facts. <laughs> Wait, can you go back down? I don't think we can do a lot of like fictional things because I'm afraid that might tie in. Let's do the toys. I think that would just be in a like a pleasing one to look at. I think pictures of okay. toys would be cool. So uh, audience, let's... if you're not uh we're gonna try our best to describe what these toys look like but just know that if you want the full experience going over to the youtube channel at the person wants to die to check out what we're looking at so you can see live and in person well not live but you know in person <laughs> what we were looking at which one one or two let's do two okay yeah make it hard <laughs> do you know the name of the popular toys you see in these pictures remember to find out okay so, what toy is Ooh. this? Is this the Skip It, the Yo-Yo, the Slinky, or the Koosh Ball? What we're looking at is uh, a ball with a circle and a cord connected to it. Uh, no husband, though. Uh, that is uh, not included in the package. <laughs> that was, that was a very confusing description. <laughs> There's a hoop with a cord attached to it, and at the end of that cord is a ball. Technically, that's not very, a ball either. I guess it's it's a weight. It it's was a hard plastic shaped. thing that busted it's, your ankles. It's hard, yeah. Oh, sorry. So is it A, a skip it, B, yo-yo, C, slinky, or D, koosh ball? It is all very gaudy neons. Ready? <laughs> yep. You guys ready? Okay, let's see your answers. Let's see what we got. Uh, uh, let's there. see. Yours is a little bright. There we go. A. Everybody went with A. Let's see if it is correct. Jonathan, go ahead and click on skip it, which is the oh, yes. A answer. It was the skip it. Everyone gets one point. Ooh. What is this toy called? Is it the A, hacky sack? B, hoosh ball? C, space hopper or skippy ball? Or D, the skip it, which we know is definitely not the answer. It is a ball that is like plastic. 
Um, it's got like these like furry you ever little see a tendrils. Sea urchin before? Looks, looks like, like a sea that, urchin, but with more <laughs> and three colors. This one's black, purple, and orange. I used to get these all. That's the time. red. Is it? That looks red to me. <laughs> this is red. That's orange. Those are the same color. <laughs> Those are the same color. Your shirt and the ball. They are not the same color. <laughs> they are. All right, ready? Okay. <laughs> Hold up your answers. Right, Everyone pick go. B, the Koosh ball. All right, let's see. Go ahead and click Koosh ball. For the record, that's what I would have picked as well. I would have picked C. The space hopper or Skippy Ball? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. That was me. I was, Jonathan, I was yeah. here waiting for No, that, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine the feeling. Those things are so, like, pleasing to hold. It is the Koosh Ball. You were wrong. I was wrong. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. What toy is hey, this? Don't say the movie. Ooh. Don't say the movie now. Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> B, Holly Hobby, C, Cabbage Patch Kids, or D, Raggedy Ann. <laughs> that time you did it, Alex. <laughs> that wasn't a movie. That's an actual thing. Oh, the I Warner's guess. The Warner's yeah. household. Mm-hmm. It's an actual creature. Scary, scary. Yeah. All right. Ready? That is true. One, two, three. I don't know what I have to do to make it not... <laughs> There we go. Everyone said D, Raggedy Ann. Where they go like this? Yeah. The- yeah, with my. <laughs> this is the product I'm using. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite content now. creators. I think it's that you have to use a darker background, like me and Jonathan are using like a brown background. Oh, I see. I it see. might be just that the white's reflecting off too much. Yeah. Oh, well, I was saying one of my favorite content it- creators um, collects haunted dolls. And she has one of uh, the Raggedy Ann dolls, who the version that is uh, like the boy version, and it is also evil, according to her. Raggedy and Andy. Raggedy Andy. I he's scary. He's scary. I used to have a Raggedy Ann doll when I was a kid. Is it a Tinker Toy, Playmobil, Tonka, or Transformers? Uh, oh, sorry. A Tinker Toy, B Playmobil, C Tonka, or D Transformers. And what we're looking at is a toy dump truck. It is yellow and has large wheels. Mm-hmm. And it seems like a large toy compared to the child that is, um, like, the hands that are in the photo. I used to have one of those. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a Me big too. one. Mm-hmm. It is pretty that's a big one. <laughs> Ready, one, two, We are very two, sturdy. Three. I'm seeing a up. whole lot of C's in the room. C for Tonka. Is it Tonka? Only one way to find Let's out. Jonathan. See. It's a Tonka truck. Everyone... Okay, I thought this was supposed to be a little bit harder. No, if it's seven, it's five. Oh. Oh. I don't know what You're the first. Ooh. I don't what know. What toy really? is this? Is it I remember the this one. B Wombat. C the Weebles. Or D the Woggles. I know what this we're looking one. at are these egg shaped looking people. Not to be confused with nest eggs, though. Uh, they're plastic and... Yes. And look like they're made by Playmobil or something. They're probably meant for babies. These toys, um, when, from what I remember, if you push them over, since they have weights in the bottom, they will always stand back up, no matter where you throw or push them. Right. It's what I always refer to myself when I'm drunk. So, <laughs> I know this toy. That if you cracked one open, there might just be a yolk inside. Not confirmed. But it is very much a rumor. Or just a weighted metal plate or a rock, perhaps. And also egg. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Like All a right. kinder One, surprise. Two, like gross. Three. All right, let's see. We've got two answers for C and three answers for C. C, Weebles. Hmm. Everybody is thinking that it's the Weebles. Let's see. Click on like the yep. Weebles. Before, they they Weeble, they wobble, but they never fall down. Yep. Mm. Ooh. What toy is this? This is also a gimme. But is it A, Raggedy uh, Ra- Raggedy Ann? Raggedy Ann. 
B, Holly Hobby, C, Cabbage Patch Kids, or D, Strawberry Shortcake? It is a little cloth doll with a pink hat with polka dots, um, curly red hair, a, a pink polka dotted dress, and a white apron. Um, it has green and white striped stockings and orange shoes. And it's very, very detailed. Good job. Yeah. All right, ready one? One two, of my favorite characters. I I would assume that everybody has D. Yep, I see yep. I see the D. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry. Strawberry. We know our toys, y'all. Strawberry shortcake. Ooh. What toy is this? This is my childhood come to life. I I remember these. Is it A, Go Bots? B, Tamagotchi, C, Hot Wheels, or D, Beyblades? Um, the picture is of two um, spinning circular discs that look like tops, but not. <laughs> One, two, three. It's always so suspicious. Jasmine, do you just want to be? Let him rip. Jasmine's is the one that's like got you on the edge of your toes. You never I need to like write them on my hands or something and like cover one. <laughs> there it's Beyblade. Let like... it rip. <laughs> Love Beyblade. <laughs> okay. Um. So Ooh, this one I know too. What toy is this? Is it A, Funko Pop, B, The Weevils, C, Playmobil, or D, Little People? I We were looking at it as a bunch of block like figures, but they're more rounded. Uh, and uh, they look like they're made for babies. There's a couple different ones, including a dog and a few various types of people, including most with hats and different various wigs. There's a clown, a cowboy, all types. Um, and they have a beveled bottom. To be able to be put into other toys such as vehicles. My baby's oh, okay. not playing okay. with this. Ooh. Okay, okay. Wait, no, wait. Nanny babies. Uh, not, nanny not babies. babies. Do not expect uh like first ones to die junior <laughs> starring one little Jerome. That nope. person does not exist. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Ooh, different answer. Oh. And Jasmine has. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. And Jonathan has C for, for Playmobil. Playmobil. Alex also has D for Little People. All right. I think they fit into Playmobiles. They do. Yeah, that's what I was oh. thinking as well. So, like, I. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm, the like, brand, the but I don't it. think that's the name of the. Story. Yeah, I think they like fit into them, but I don't think that's what they're called. Uh, trick Come question. Come on, Jonathan. Watch us be. Yeah, little people. Yeah. So Jonathan oh, is nice. down a point. Where I'm Alex and Jasmine take the lead. No, you're not. This isn't the sudden death round. You should I'm out of it. Come back. <laughs> I, we can each get one wrong the next one. Right. You're you're relaxed. Relaxed. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get this wrong. Yeah. Everyone knows this one. Right, Everyone knows this. this. Is it A, you Funko don't know. B, Funko Pop. <laughs> C, Cabbage Patch Kids. Or D, Little People. And what we're looking at is a big-headed uh, figurine of what looks like Ms. Marvel from the uh, uh, blank movie. <laughs> or not Ms. Marvel, sorry. Uh, Mi uh, uh, what's her name? Dang it. Mary Marvel. There we go. Yeah, they have, have um, <laughs> they have a squarish head, very large black eyes with no mouth. Ready? One, ready? two, three. Everyone says... B, yeah, Funko, B. Pops. Funko Pops. It looks like a Funko Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. What toy is this? What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Is that? Oh, I think I, think I chalk, know what it's it? supposed to be. It looks like chalk. I know what that is. It's, is it A, Tinker Toy, B, Light Bright, C, Play-Doh, or D, Glow Worm? Now that I read it, I now know what it is. Yeah, yeah it is a... Uh, a collection of brightly colored tubes um, in red, orange, yellow, tan, uh, blue, and green. Um, some of them seem to be indented. So now you see the orange. Yes. <laughs> I don't. All right. One, but that red is red. Two, That's the three. same red. 
Let's see what you got. We've got Jonathan with C. We've got Jasmine with. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> with have... C. And we've got Alex with A. So we got two votes for Light Bright. Oh, uh oh. And, no, Play Doh. For Play Doh. For, and Play-Doh. One vote for, Tinker. for Tinker Toy. There we go. Someone's going to win here. I believe it's Play Doh. You got right, to click go. it. It was Play Doh. Oh, it was Play-Doh. It's Jasmine. Which means so Jasmine. Jasmine wins the whole thing. Jasmine is Jasmine. Our first guest winner of the trivia game <laughs> has been defined. Congratulations, Jasmine. Congratulations. You have, uh, good game. Good game. Out. Nice work. Nice trivia work. Trivia belt. Uh, which means you said you have to come back at the beginning for trivia nine. <laughs> so You're go. right. Now Not we have to play though. the game. Yeah, so there the winner you go. of this trivia game uh, will get to determine a game that we have to play uh, on the podcast. So I guess Dominion is the name of the game. Uh, and also, Which I'm still unsure of what that is. We'll Same. find out when we play. Other than it's nerdy, an online version that's free that you can play. So, wow. sweet. Better uh, do some studying. Mm-hmm. But uh, as now has become the new uh, tradition with trivia, we're going to do, uh, of course, the sit rep, the uh, the the check in. So of course we're going to talk uh, uh, firstly to our champ, Jasmine. Uh, it was a it was a, a strong fight out there. Uh, really great. You just you just came through and really bulldozed over the competition. Uh, what was your mind? Where was your mind at uh, as you were answering those uh, trivia questions? Um. Well, the music round was really hard. Gotta say, it was all luck. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I want to thank God, my mom, my family, my partner, Al, his little check-in gave me a boost. <laughs> no, right. no, like we always, you know, thanking the big man upstairs and of course always. the folks at home. Oh yes. Glad to hear it. Thankful always. for my partners teachers didn't believe in me. support us. And, <laughs> you know, I, there were some nights where. I wanted cheddar cheese, and we are only had provolone, so I had I had a hard mm. upbringing. But I'm I'm happy yeah. to be here. All right, your so shuttle's strong. real. Going over to the other mm-hmm. locker room, uh, uh, Alex. Uh, how do you feel uh, not being able to uh, capitalize on a win for this trivia game? Where where where, where are you thinking there's a strategy for next time? I. Don't think I thought about anything other than why does the play doh look like that? Why does it look like yeah. that? Yeah. Because they're play doh logs. It's, usually it's like how a clay the, comes in a pack. It's right. It's usually in yeah, the but container. It's in the containers or something like that. Or you leash out the play doh in its form. Who's just making little rolls of play doh? That's bullshit. Everybody. Everybody makes little But if I had to lose to anybody, I'm less angry losing to Jasmine. So I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan, the previous uh, trivia champ, uh, you know, you, you almost had it. You came in strong, almost came out with a back-to-back victory. Uh, uh, how's it feel to hand the belt off to uh, another member of the podcast? Yes, that's right, Drew. <laughs> 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 Newscaster delay. <laughs> uh, I had to do it. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I, I was, I was on, on, a, on a, on a streak, a lucky streak. You know, those middle names. I, uh, I, I that was I impressive. Used the reason- yeah, use the reasoning. You know, what? Mm-hmm. How? If I was a parent of this child back when uh, this person was born. What would be the, the, the best name for them? <laughs> um, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, that was my reasoning. It didn't uh, get me to the victory, but next time. Absolutely. And uh, Ari, this is also your first time playing the game as well. Uh, the betrayal from one Jerome Rhett, uh, did did, it, did that <laughs> stagger you at, at all when trying to do uh, your round, uh, trying to go for the victory? Revenge. That's not an answer to the question. That's yes, just... it is. <laughs> that is my answer to the question. <laughs> I'd like to uh, apologize to anybody who I've offended 
by not knowing anything about sports. Um, and that is all. Enjoy your sports, please. Well, this has been right. yet another round of trivia. trivia. Wait, 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 wait. We, you got to answer the question. How are you feeling today, Jerome? Uh, I can't interview myself. I'm interviewing you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, those halftime adjustments just didn't come in in enough time. Uh, there's just far too many players on the field. Uh, to be quite honest, you know, uh, practice was just lacking this past couple of weeks. But, you know, we're going to be back next season. We're going to come strong. We're going to change up the roster, maybe get a new coach. And, uh, you know, we're going to definitely uh, bring the Gatorade next time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're just going to dominate like we uh, plan to do every season uh, next time trivia comes around. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs> Back to you, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Trivia 8 for you, folks. <laughs> Hope you had a great time listening to us play some trivia. Hope you learned something. Because these are the, our most educational episodes easily. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot today. In the episode, we mm-hmm. learned about all the that. What is that animal that throws its babies around? We learned oh, a lot of that. Episode. <laughs> the yeah, but they don't throw their babies; they just leave them to die. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they just, it's yeah. terrible. Nature is harsh and cruel and beautiful. Uh, but uh, socials. Jonathan, go. You can find me at Jonathan Keys on Twitter, Instagram, wherever you please. Should I change it to X Instagram, wherever you please? I think I'll do that. You can find me. I'm not adjusting the logos. I'm just saying that (laughs) graphics are staying the same. Go on. And that's it. And you can follow us at the first ones to die on all of the social platforms. If you're watching this on YouTube, please give us a like and subscribe. If you're listening to us on your favorite podcast platform. Please give us five stars and a review. We would really appreciate it. You can also email us, the first ones to die at gmail.com. And we'd love to hear uh, your questions and feedback. Alex, where can people find you? You can find me at Alex and Nobody on Instagram and on TikTok and the podcast TikTok, The First Ones to Die, where I post little clips of episodes, what we may be doing next, uh, what we have done. And you can go over there now and see Jerome's failure in live time as we had been recording this at the time. Um, You can also find us on threads now as well. I don't believe that graphic has been added, but it needs to be updated uh, for the Instagram as well. Jasmine. You can find me at Jasmine Shiloh. I'm semi back on Instagram now. So before I know I've been on here and been like, don't follow me because I'm not active, but I am back on on the gram a little bit. So <laughs> nice. All right. Um, well, if you've seen my dog before and you like my dog, he does have a TikTok. Uh it is Bubo B U B O underscore uh Nick Bubonic Plague. Uh, at TikTok. It is my love letter to him, so there's a lot of cute content there. Um, my usual, my socials is at Ariomeo, which is A-R-I-O-M-E-O. Um, I write fan fiction. Please don't read it if you know me. Uh, <laughs> and I draw. <laughs> not, not so much right now, but I do create art. And I also um, often make earrings and whatnot. Different art things. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> and you can follow me at not Jerome Red on Instagram, and you can Venmo me at uh, Jerome Red the second. So if you just want to send some money over real quick for my loss for trivia for damages, uh, so he can buy me ice cream. Thank no, you. No, because the the beat down that's going to happen now. I would like ice cream. Of, uh, my betrayal. <laughs> ice cream. Uh, I'm going to need to pay for these medical bills. So if y'all could just send that over real quick, that would be great. <laughs> ice cream. Uh, <laughs> but also. <laughs> Uh, and follow us at the first die on YouTube as well, just to get extra content that you can't get anywhere else. And uh, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And uh, also give five stars, like Michael said, on all the podcast on the audio streaming platforms. Uh, next week, tune in for something. I honestly don't have the calendar pulled up, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. Hey, it's gonna be surprise for all. That's right. Yes. And also, uh, stay tuned for the stream of the game. What is it? Dominion? That yes, should be happening Dominion. on Twitch in some indefinite future. <laughs> I'm sure they'll Hopefully. let you know. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> you can't just you can't just stiff her of her prize. 
Mm-hmm. I'm a remember. It's not good business. Uh-huh. And it's recorded. Mm-hmm. It yeah. Is. All right, audience. Have a good night. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever you're listening to this. And we'll see you next time.